Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're at George W. Johnson Park in Endicott, and wow, the sun is right in my face again. I always have bad luck with sun placement. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you what might be the newest gym in all of at least Broome County, if not Binghamton area. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. <music> So right over here we have Davis Field, and then more baseball fields and the IBM complex down there. And then right over here is the newest gym in Broome County. It was just built, and it's like an outdoor gym exercise complex. Let's go take a look. Now I could be incorrect, but I think most of this complex was funded through sponsorships and uh, grant money. Uh, but yeah, this looks really nice. And it looks like it just has a bunch of, um, like, pull-up weights and, like, different exercise equipment. Shows what I know about fitness, right? Looks like some agility courses over here. And some uh, sit-up stuff. <laughs> and then over here is the L pool which used to be the Z-Pool, but they uh, got money to rebuild it, but they couldn't rebuild the whole thing. So basically it's, you know, like I said, it's an L now. All right, let's see if I can do some pull-ups. I shouldn't be doing this in sandals. Oh, oh here's a pull-up bar. One. Oh god. Woo. Wow. I need to exercise and lift more often. I need to come here more often. And just to give you guys a look around the former Z pool, it's late September, so the pool actually closed just a couple weeks ago. Unlike Highland, there's still water in it right now. Highland's actually been drained already. But yeah, this is like the shallow end, and I'll walk around and give you guys a view of the current deep end and the former deep end. And if you're wondering uh, what it costs to swim here, Looks like children are 50 cents, adults 75, and you can have a season pass for $30. Maximum capacity 163. And it looks like it closes at 7 o'clock, 12 to 7, Monday through Friday and Saturday. Although I think recently it's been closed a lot more often uh, with staffing shortages and things like that, but I could be wrong there. So if we come down this way, the Z pool actually used to be an Olympic size swimming pool, but it, um, like I said it earlier, it had to be renovated and they only had enough money or grant money or something like that to rebuild what you see here. And this part used to be the former deep end with the diving boards and more of the pool. And now I think more recently they've been using it as like a hockey rink and beach volleyball court. Although right now it doesn't appear that they're using it for anything at all. <laughs> In fact, this, uh, this pathway you see here used to actually have, the pool would be right up against it. And down there is the pool as it sits today and the deep end. So basically they built a wall across the middle of the Olympic sized pool and kind of just cut it in half. So that's the end of the video. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, click subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next one.